I'm Jory Green and welcome to Your Health Today. I bet you didn't know that roughly 15 million Americans get their water from private wells. And if you're one of the 18,000 homes right here in DuPage County on well water, just like the beautiful one we're standing in today, then this episode will be especially important to you. Today we're going to show you just how quick and easy it can be to treat your well to ensure that the water is safe and clean for you and your whole family to enjoy. And to help explain this process to us, we have Kevin Dixon. Kevin is the Director of Environmental Health Services at the DuPage County Health Department, and one of his many duties is to oversee the wells of the Health Department to make sure that the water is clean and safe. So let's go outside and meet Kevin. Hey Kevin, thanks for spending some time with us today to walk us through how to treat our well. And I don't know if you know, but I grew up on well water. I grew up right here in DuPage County and my family was on well, so I'm pretty familiar with this process. But can you, before you show us how to treat the well, can you explain to our viewers why they might have to do that? What could contaminate a well? Sure. Uh, thanks, Jory. The, the usual problem is uh, just uh, during heavy rain events, we might have some local flooding. Mm -hmm. And if the floodwaters cover the well, you know, if there's any cracks or any breaks in the seals, that uh, contaminated uh, stormwater can actually get into the well and contaminate the whole well. Okay, so they really only need to worry about it after a major flood. So let's say that this yard has flooded and we can assume now that their well is probably contaminated and they can just go ahead and start treating it. So walk us through this. What's the first step? Well, the first step is to find the wellhead. This is a typical example of what they look like. Uh, they do come in different configurations and, okay. and uh, uh, in sizes, but this is the typical example. And what you want to do is really just get the, the cover off. Uh, they tend to be uh, attached with some bolts, maybe a lock or a combination of the two. Okay. You might need a wrench to take these off, but eventually you want to get the cover off. I can give you a hand here. All right. And I see you have some props here. So what are these for? Sure. Um, well, what we got here, this is what we use for the disinfectant. We recommend just regular household bleach. Okay. Dilute it out in, in water. And this is what you pour down into the well to actually disinfect the, the well and the water inside there. Okay, so maybe a general rule of thumb, it looks like for one gallon of bleach, it's five gallons of water. Okay, and bleach is a pretty serious chemical, so what safety precautions should uh, residents take well, that's a good, with it? That's a good point. You certainly want to follow the instructions uh, on the label in terms of personal protection. Mm -hmm. That generally requires some kind of eye protection and mm -hmm. certainly some gloves because even diluted, the bleach is still pretty strong. Okay, and then how do they flush it all the way out of their system so there's no bleach residue left in their drinking water? Well, there, there's two techniques. Once you put the, the disinfectant in there, you want to disperse it throughout the plumbing. Okay. And so uh, you'll want to run the faucets and all the water fixtures in the house to get the disinfectant spread throughout the plumbing system. Okay. Uh, you then want to let it sit for uh, the recommended amount of time and once you've gotten to that point then you want to flush out the disinfectant okay and it's kind of the same process this is where you start running the faucets again to get all the disinfectant out of okay. uh, the well system so turning on your sink faucets and your shower your hose stuff like that okay and then the well should be clean so what further steps can residents take to make sure that all the bacteria is out and their well water is safe well once you've got it disinfected and you have all the disinfectant out of the water and you're ready to start drinking it again you might want to get it tested just to ensure that the disinfection process uh, had worked. Mm -hmm. uh, the DuPage County Health Department does have a water lab where that testing can okay. be done, or there are a number of private uh, water well testing labs in the, in the area as well. Okay, um, now I don't look good in goggles, so can I get somebody to do this uh, for me, this whole process? You sure can. If, if you're not uh, comfortable with doing this disinfection process yourself, you can certainly contact a, a certified well contractor in the area and they would be able to help okay. you do this too. Great, great. All right, well, I have some samples of our nice, fresh, clean well water. So cheers, thank you so much for being with us today. If you are the owner of a private well and would like to receive more information on well water safety, you can call the DuPage County Health Department at 630-682-7400 or visit us at dupagehealth.org. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you for watching this episode of Your Health Today. I'm Joy Green, wishing you well.